I've been in Jumanji. I've been in Jumanji, yo. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? I just got back from Jumanji. Welcome to the jungle. Direct plug to Guns N' Roses. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. that's exactly what it did at the end of the film. Uh, so, so uh, Jumanji 2, okay, for everybody, which is actually kind of Jumanji 3, if you consider uh, Zathras, uh, or no, Zathura. <laughs> Zathras is Babylon 5 for those like, sci-fi fans that. out there. <laughs> Uh, you should watch Joe's good, but uh, that was the sci-fi uh, Jumanji. Uh, then we had the original Jumanji in 1995. Everybody remembers that? Yes. Oh, yeah. Robin what Williams, is it? classic. What and year now, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I've been in Jumanji. Uh, now 2017 here towards the end of the year, uh, around Christmas time. Uh, you know, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, y'all. Uh, we get Jumanji. Welcome to the jungle. And um, I was a little worried. That, they, that this would be a really sort of uh, bad film, uh, kind of a, kind of a... I didn't expect a lot from this. Honestly. I thought this movie you didn't was expect a lot. It was gonna be cheesy. I thought it was going to be horrible. Yeah. yeah, so I am happy to report that uh, I had a great time in Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Stupid yeah, subtitle. Yeah, thumbs up. Oh what? my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah, so uh, what do you think, Joe? Um, uh, I came in not expecting anything. I liked it a lot. I was mm -hmm. laughing throughout the whole <laughs> yeah. film. Yeah, I was I was trying to keep track of how many big laughs there were because uh, I think when I review comedies, maybe I should kind of give you guys a number of big laughs to give you guys an idea if it's a movie that's worth your time. There was quite a few of them here. I'd say four or five and uh, and then some little chuckles here and there. Not every single joke lands, but I was surprised by the number of jokes that was landing and uh, sort of the uh, genuineness of uh, by the end of the film. I think would really... Uh, is the strength of this one is the fact that it, it begins uh, with teenage characters, right? Discovering the new uh, Jumanji, which uh, goes from a dumb <laughs> board game that people that well, who the hell plays board games anymore? You motherfucker! I, I, I heard I, you I, say it. Yeah, Did you hear you. me say it? Yeah, I thought you yeah. was like, oh. I was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> and it turns into a video game console with Never a cartridge. And yeah, game. I don't know. But that's what kind of confused me because it was. A cartridge, but then it was also a console, so maybe it spawned. Anyways, so it's a cartridge now, and it's a video game, and they updated it. And, um, you know, so what the characters that you have, The Rock, uh, Kevin Hart, uh, Jack Black, these different characters are not actually, you know, what we would expect. And I thought that that was fascinating to see Jack Black play a teenage girl who's obsessed with herself with Instagram and selfies and he did such an amazing job with it and the rest of the characters I really believe that they were avatars you know that yeah. they were teenagers in high school in avatars and and I liked that genuineness uh, of Jumanji and sort of you know bringing it around the the high school type of thing that they've got so um, I like that what did you like I think that the comedy, for the most part, was kind of spot on. Like, Jack Black was amazing. Uh, I mean, I think almost all of the big laughs were his. Like, it's got to be almost all of them. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, Kevin, Kevin Hart, Hart I laughed couple, at yeah, quite, he, quite he a was bit. actually pretty funny, too. You know, Kevin Hart, he's got one mode. He's fucking short, and there's going to be short jokes. I knew they were coming, and yet I still laughed at pretty much almost all of them in his sort of observational comedy. Oh, you're just, oh, you're going to... You know, I did something too. You're just gonna give him all the credit? Okay, well, that's fine. Cause that's my kind of comedy, so I just, I like that. I'm the guy with the backpack, you know? I got, uh, you know, I can't go in there. I can, you know, got a backpack, you know? Everybody knows you don't go on water with a backpack. So that's why we don't do that. <laughs> so I love this, I love this movie. Um, now, did you think that uh, the villain, what did you think of this new Jumanji and the way the world is different from Obviously, the original, you had Jumanji spilling into the real world. What's this one about? So this one's, I thought they did a pretty good job because if they actually tried to connect the board game into a video game, I think it, no matter what they did, it would have been kind of poor. And so at the very beginning, the board game turns into a video game. That's all that they, they talk about. It's magic. Get over it. And as long as you, you buy that, you're going to have a fun time. And yeah. I think they did a pretty good job because they said... It, it went into Jumanji as opposed yeah. to... Jumanji, Jumanji spilling, spilling back out. So that kind of, I think, uh, th 
was a, enough variation yeah. to sort of warrant a sequel and it not feel like it's basically doing everything that Jumanji original did. Though there were a few callbacks. White rhinos, you mm -hmm. know, some callbacks there. Yeah, and there's mention of, of characters from, from previous Jumanjis. Mm -hmm. that was really yeah, they know, where, they know where they're coming from, which actually the film picks up, I think... Right where the last one leaves yeah, off, right or was the there. was the board game in the in sand on a it's beach somewhere somewhere yeah. Yeah. It has been, it? yeah, I think they were like it was in France or something. But that that's not that's that's inconsequential. It's just nice that it tied in there. Um, what about the uh, uh, the performances and sort of you know uh, the video game world of these NPC characters? Because obviously you got your main cast. Which I thought was four actually turns into five. Mm -hmm. But what did you think about the surrounding characters, Joe? Uh, the surrounding character Nigel um, was an instant hit for me okay. because he's uh, the manager <laughs> of Flight of the Concords, mm -hmm. and I love that. Oh uh, yeah, just his voice and everything. But it's pretty cool because that's Wait, like, actually <laughs> how it is in the game. Like they tell you your quest. Yeah. Did you, you did you get annoyed or you liked yeah, it? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's the same way. It's like you try to talk to them again. They just tell you the quest over and over. Oh, I guess and we're then, done. Yeah. We're it's done. now you know to move on. So yeah, it was you know the the rules of this new video game Jumanji can literally be anything. I think the bad guys you know show up at the right times where a video game would put them at. Uh, they do a lot of CGI, of course, with some of the animals in, in the film, which I thought was well done. Um, so, you know, believable enough. Uh, mixing, you know, today's technology, stuff that they couldn't do quite as well maybe in 1995 or with those actors. But, you know, it, it was well done, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely was. I mean, like, it was just a fun movie. It, I mean, it uh, if you look at it and you try to pick it apart, it's going to be... You know, it's not going to hold up, but it felt like a video mm -hmm. game. The actors did a great job. They felt like actors playing characters who were teenagers playing characters. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of really awkward interactions where they're trying to figure out, you know, how to be their avatar, which was yeah, nice. Yeah, you got sort of the jock, the nerd geek. You've got the, you know, uh, sort of outcast female and the super popular chick. And, you know, and, and it, it works out. Yeah, there might be stereotypes. But there's less, the, the movie has a good lesson and a good moral to it. And, uh, and there's a love story too, you know, which normally is kind of annoying. But here, it was genuinely interesting to watch because you have these adult, very, these adult famous actors like The Rock acting goofy as if, you know, they, you know, not knowing how to, you know, go in for a kiss and things like that. And just some other goofy stuff in, in the film that uh, it really makes it quite entertaining to watch. You buy into the world and uh, usually these sort of video game movies, in the, at least in the past, hasn't really worked out. This one worked out. And uh, I think it's definitely one that you guys can go out and see. And, uh, and and get your money's worth out of it. So let's go ahead and give final verdicts, and then we'll do uh, spoilers uh, after that. So uh, we'll start with Alex. Alex, what did you think of the Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle? I thought this movie was was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So if you come in and it's during the holidays and there's nothing going on, you're really gonna like get your money's worth. I mean, <laughs> it could be. Like, I want to rate it within its own category because mm -hmm. it's, like, really exceptional within its own category. But it's Well, hard to... all movies, you know, if this is a comedy, if it's a, you know, comedy action, it's yeah. obviously different from what you would rate a horror or a sci-fi yeah. or something like I that. I think this is a solid... So that's a given. This is, like, an 8 out of 10 for, oh, yeah. for that genre. Like, it was really... Mm -hmm. If you look at the movies that. that, like, like The Rundown, which are kind of similar, like, this one actually yeah. felt better than that. It was funny. Yeah, yeah, it was. It might have been less sort of action. Well, it, the action is... Some pretty good action in here too, you know, wire work. You could tell it's fakey, but it's supposed to be a video game world where we have, I mean, probably the only thing that doesn't really work in it, in my opinion, is she's got uh, one of the characters uh, has ninja, uh, you know, the sort of Laura Croft kind of character. She's got ninjutsu, she's the man killer, and she's got kung karate and shit, but she's also got fucking dance fighting. But that never really plays into effect. Yeah, there's a fucking song playing, but it is ninjutsu and yeah. karate. There's not, there's no dance fighting here. Tell but, it to uh, Zoolander. Yeah, well, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, but, you know, so the effects of her flying into the air and doing these karate kicks look ridiculous, but it, it, it actually fits. Get, get, get on me! All right, Joe. 
Well, I'm gonna have to agree. I'm gonna give this an eight oh. out of ten. I really like the acting. Jack Black, to me, was like the better actor. Kevin Hart and The Rock, they're just they do what they do. Mm -hmm. They they act the same in every movie, but it worked on this. Oh, movie. you you mean they're sort of the way they play off each other? Yeah. Because yeah. you could tell they had a good time. They were friends. They had a lot of fun on set, and and that sort of genuine comedy and and ba uh, play back and forth really does come across. It does. Uh, and and so I liked it as well. Uh, so you on eight out of ten? Yeah. That's to me, it kind of felt a little bit because of the villain. I didn't yeah. really care about the villain so much. It wasn't really, he but wasn't really kind of hard to It was fault. more like a situational thing. Mm -hmm. The situation that, were put, that they were put into was more of a threat than he was. Yeah, exactly. Eyes. It's more interesting, exactly. It's more interesting to see them battle uh, creatures, yeah, yeah. jaguars, and rhinos, and shit, and, and the jungle itself, rather than some... Yeah. Villain, who's he's, he's like a villain a of the back. week. Yeah. He's got no backstory. He's literally another one of those NPC characters mm -hmm. within the video game world. Uh, we don't know why he wants the gem, or is he gonna break out of Jumanji? It, it that doesn't really expand on any of that stuff. It's just beat the game, right? And so that's why the villain, yeah, is a little weak. And I do feel that you're right that maybe towards the third act it starts to lose a little bit of steam, but it had it, it garnered so much goodwill with you mm -hmm. throughout the, you know, first and second acts that you're when it, when it might miss on a certain action beat or something like that, you're you're fully on board anyway and you're just still having a great time. So that's why I think these guys hit nailed it perfectly. It is an 8 out of 10. It's definitely worth uh, seeing in the theaters uh, with family. So if you got your cousins in town, your brothers or whatever, uh, this is one that you could definitely go out and see and be happy with. So I was I was pleasantly surprised by it. I thought it was going to be formulaic, formulaic, generic, and just a sort of cashing in on the license. Now, that's not to say that there aren't some of those elements yeah, there in there. there definitely was some of There's those some elements, elements there, in there, job. but... It was well executed by director uh, Jake Kasdan and the writers uh, enough to where it felt genuine enough that this was a worthwhile new Jumanji. And, and I heard, we, we took Devin with us, a fourth one, and I heard him say, oh, I'm excited for Jumanji 3. And I was like, all right, Devin. So there's your casual movie audience. They liked it enough that they probably want to see another. So, and maybe Nigel will return, Joe. So. I hope so. All right, guys, that's it. Eight out of 10 as the final verdict. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to kind of just get a real quick five minute spoiler section, we can just talk about some of the funnier moments that happened. Uh, stick around. If not, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great Christmas and good holidays. See you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye guys. Alright, so a quick little spoiler section here. Uh, you know, the characters all have three lives each, you know, so mm -hmm. they were all going to potentially die. We know, we don't really know whether they were really going to die. I yeah. think it's implied that they were. Um, and all the characters ended up with, wait, one life left? Yes. Life, yeah. Or was it, all I thought one of them had two. It was the chick. But she died but at she the died. end. She stepped on the snake. And She's it, like, oh, that's right. Okay, so they start off with three lives and, you know, I like the point of it's easy to be brave when you know you have multiple lives, but then when they start running out of lives, they start second guessing yeah. themselves. And so I thought that interplay was pretty cool. Um, and it was funny to see them die. A little bit shocking, like the first person that dies is Jack Black. <laughs> yeah. Big old hippo comes out of nowhere, friggin' that was gobbles cool. him up and kills him. And they fall from the sky in a sort of heroic triumph, you know, stand. And they play around with that a lot. So they sort of set up the universe and played with the universe in, in believable and cool and interesting ways. Um, but the side plot that we couldn't really talk about was this nice extension. It felt like, hey, there was Jumanji 2, but we didn't focus there. We went into a new direction. Mm -hmm. Jumanji 2 would have been, at the beginning of the film, this other character uh, picks up, you know, the, the little Jumanji board game in the sand, mm -hmm. takes it home, and he gets trapped, and we don't know what happened to him. Well, he eventually does show up in the film, yeah. and he's living in a treehouse, and in this treehouse is marked with whose name? Alan! 
Alan. Yeah, I didn't know I, it was Alan. So they tried to reference Robin Williams and saying this is where Robin Williams was living when he came back out of Jumanji and he, you know, he was wearing all the leaves and the shit. And so he was in here too. How that makes sense? No, probably doesn't because this is the video game Jumanji. But there was a jungle maybe that got converted into right and and was was he ever playing the video game version alan maybe he did maybe that's how they implied he got out so just some interesting and cool little easter eggs here and there um i was surprised though that uh, at the end they didn't do jumanji again or the jumanji board game didn't go it did you know no, 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 they smashed that shit. Well, it started to do it, and that's when they smashed yeah, it. Yeah, they smashed it with a bowling ball who was referenced earlier. Like, what the fuck is this bowling ball doing here? Nobody, why do we need this? Well, at the end, they smashed the, the video game console. But I was surprised by that, you know? It didn't go for that sort of, we want to make another, and please let, allow us to make another, and we're going to set it up, and it's going to go here. No, France this time? No, it's in China this time, and, you know, uh, some kids run, run into it. No, they didn't do that. And I was like, huh, you know, that it's shown surprising restraint there. So they went for the joke. So uh, self-contained story, uh, pretty interesting. Any other sort of spoiler bits you guys want? I was, oh, well, yeah. I was curious to see how they were going to do the little love story with Bethany and Alex. Because Alex mm -hmm. was stuck in there for 20 years. Yeah. And she like kind of like wanted to be with the him. prep like, girl started to like the guy that's been trapped in Jumanji for 20 years. And so how did that turn out? Uh, basically, he popped out back in his own time. Mm -hmm. What was it, 1996? the year after 1995. So a nice little continuation yeah. there. And he lived his own life, married, yeah, has his own daughter, Hollywood. named his daughter Bethany uh, for the girl that saved his life. And I was like, ooh, feels awesome. Okay, okay. Awesome. You know, what, you thought that they were going to do a 40-year-old man, 30-year-old man no, trying to get he, with he this? No, do that. I thought he was going to come back as uh, his original age. I was like, that would have Yeah, worked. that would have been kind of sad, though, for his dad, who had had, like, a ruined life for 20 years. And mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I was, like, trying to see how they were going to do it, and it was pretty good. I liked it. As they did set up the house, the house was all dark, decrepit, and, and you know, abandoned, and the guy's grouchy. He's like, hey, dude, I'm not loitering around here. They kind of got the it factor. Like, From that house, yeah, yeah, yeah a little bit. That and then he comes out with his yellow raincoat. Mm -hmm. It's a feel good movie, man. It's one of those that it's like, all right, we need we need some of these at the end. It doesn't sequel bait. It wraps it up very neatly. Little love story. Little nerds fall in love, and and the jog learns to maybe you know still be cool with the people who he brought to the dance, the people that were friends with him when he was a child. You know, so this is a good message. Um, anything else? Jack Black was great. Jack Black. Yep. Jack Black. Good, good, good job with Jack Black. And, um, yeah, yeah. I, I saw some critics, who we, we both saw this, some critics complaining that, you know, we got to talk about how little clothes she's wearing. I was like, number one, she's not, it's not like they're, it's not that excessive the way this one critic or multiple female critics are making it out to be, you know. And then, at the same time, this was set up in this specific way on purpose. Yeah, she's supposed to mimic how ridiculous Laura Croft is dressed for yes. like being in the jungle. This is a parody thing and that, that she's supposed to be, you know, ill-equipped to be running around in the jungle. So we'll see how the actual Tomb Raider handles that, which they've already shown trailers and it handles it in, a, in an interesting way. But just to see people complaining about that, I was like, this, <laughs> it went right over your head. Anyways. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, great movie. Go out and see it, and we'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe show. I've been in Jumanji. Go out. Go out and see Jumanji. <laughs> All right.